In this lecture, we are going to talk about how to crack Caesar cipher with the help of frequency analysis. So basically, we are going to use the same source code we have seen in the previous lecture. So we are going to iterate through the cipher text and we are going to count the frequency. So the occurrence of every single letter in the plain text. And as you can see, we keep incrementing the value. So we are going to use a dictionary with the letter itself the letter is the given character i p w z and something like this and the frequency is the number of occurrence in the given text okay and then we are going to plot this distribution with the help of modplotly pylab okay and we use this message so this is the cipher text we would like to decrypt so what do we have to do this is what we have been talking about in a theoretical section that first we have to calculate the relative frequency distribution of the cipher text letters then we have to get the second most frequent letter because the first one is going to be white spaces so we have to find the second most frequent letter and we can get the key based on a very 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 simple formula. The key is going to be the value of cipher text most frequent letter or sorry for that second most frequent letter minus the value of E. This is what we have been talking about that Caesar cipher shifts all letters with the same key which means that this operation doesn't alter the distribution of the letters. So this distribution is going to be approximately the same but it is going going to be shifted with a given number of letters. Okay, so we are going to analyze the frequency distribution in order to find the key for the Caesar cipher. Okay, so this is the cipher text and we just have to calculate the relative frequency of letters within this cipher text. So if we run the algorithm Caesar crack frequency, we are going to get the frequency distribution of the letters. And this is what we have been talking about that the most frequent letter is going to be the white space character. So we are after the second most frequent letter. And the second most frequent letter is letter I. So what does it mean? That in the original English text, the most frequent letter is E and in the cipher text, the most frequent letter is I. So we can come to the conclusion that E is transformed into I, F is transformed into J and so on. So we shift every single letter, one, two, three, four steps to the right. What does it mean? That in the Caesar cipher, the value of the key is equals to 4. So if we use this cipher text with key 4, then we should get the original plain text. Let's test whether it's working fine or not. As you can see, it is working fine. So it is the original text that my name is Balázs Holzer, I'm from Budapest, Hungary. Okay, you may pose the question that why are there Z values? And basically it is because of the special characters such as the exclamation mark, such as the comma, as you can see. So these special characters are going to be transformed into a letter in the alphabet. But as you can see, the text itself is going to be the same. So my name is Balázs Scholzer, I'm from Budapest, Hungary, I'm qualified as a physicist and so on. So this is the plain text and with the help of frequency analysis, we can come to the conclusion that what's the most frequent letter in the cipher text. And if we know what's the most frequent letter in the cipher text, then we can have a good guess that how many characters to shift in order to get the most frequent letter from E. In this case, the distance between letter I and letter E is 4, so we can come to the conclusion that the key in Caesar cipher is equals to 4, and this is exactly what's happening. So we are able to crack Caesar cipher in a brute force manner, and we are able to crack Caesar cipher with the help of frequency analysis. And this is exactly what we have been talking about, that we are able to crack Caesar cipher because of information leaking. What is the information? The information is the relative frequency and distribution of the letters in the cipher text. So this distribution is the information leaking itself. 
And what's extremely important that Caesar cipher will not be more secure if we repeat the operation. So for example, if we use Caesar encryption with key 2 and then Caesar encryption with key 3, then the crypto system is not going to be more secure because it is the same as using just a single Caesar encryption with key value 5. So if we use Caesar encryption several times, it is not going to make the crypto system more secure. There are other approaches such as data encryption standard or advanced encryption standard for those algorithms. If we use encryption several times, then the crypto system will be more secure. As far as Caesar cipher is concerned, Caesar cipher will not be more secure if we repeat the operation several times. So that's all about Caesar cipher and cracking the Caesar cipher. Thanks for watching.